Hey, what's going on, YouTube? BOW Gregums here, coming at you with the last episode of the Underage Challenge series. Um, well, possibly the last episode. Um, if this is the first video you're watching, um, go back. Uh, I'll set up a playlist. You can watch them um, from 1 to 5, and then um, uh, I think I'm linking Mike in the description. But um, anyways, this is where we try and keep him under 17 points. Um, it was close at the beginning, but we ended up not being able to hold it because the... the the points are just way too far apart, and at ground war they spawn way too close together. Um, but that's enough with the gameplay. Um, I just got done watching the Microsoft um, E3 press conference. Uh, that's mainly the reason this game's coming out a little bit later than I wanted it to, because that was starting like right as I was rendering this out. So I decided just to wait and record a commentary after I watched it. And you know what? Uh, I liked I, I really liked Microsoft's press conference this year. It was it was clean. It was I mean, yeah, there was that Usher dance number that went on and I don't know. That that was the only down part for me. Um I, I the new Splinter Cell looks awesome. It's like they took the old Splinter Cell and combined it with uh Splinter Cell Conviction and just went crazy with it. Um on top of that, the, um, oh, what was it? What game was it? See, um, oh, ESPN and the partnering with NHL and NBA. That's, that's really sweet. Um, like I said, I recently moved here from Michigan to Florida. Um, I'm a huge hockey fan, huge Red Wings fan, and it's kind of hard to get my Red Wings down here. So, um, it's going to be nice to have a, uh, just be able to turn my Xbox on and watch the live games. Um, one of the coolest and most awesome features I saw was the, um, what was it called, Smart Glass, Microsoft Smart Glass, um, and the whole, it, I mean, I'll get to the browser part, but the, uh, the cool thing where you're playing video games and you can, you know, they, they show off you're playing Halo, you scan the ship and it pull, you can pull it up on Halo Waypoint on your tablet that's sitting right next to you and it'll give you additional information but the coolest feature is if you're on waypoint you can now get invites to your game and they say you know this person wants to play slayer was the example they gave you just click on it and it instantly saves your game on your xbox and throws you into matchmaking which i i guess is kind of redundant because it is i mean they can just send you a message on xbox live but i mean Hell, if someone's just scrolling the internet and sees you're on Halo Waypoint and you just send a message like, hey, you want to play, without having to turn on your Xbox, that's sweet. I mean, that's just, that's that's really nice integration, and maybe in the future they'll be able to integrate Xbox Live as a whole to where you'll be able to live on your computer or on your tablet, be able to control Xbox Live. And so it'll be like you're signed in, you know, on Xbox, and then you go, um, can't play games right now, at work, but I'm signed into Xbox Live and I'm able to chat with all my friends and everything like that. The last thing that I wanted to mention, what, well, not last thing, because of course I'm going to have to talk about Black Ops 2. Um, the browser. Oh, thank you, Microsoft. I've been waiting for a browser forever. I have a PS3. It's used as a Blu-ray player and a browser, and that's it, not to play games. The integration, I mean, it does suck because it's Internet Explorer, but who knows, it might be a streamlined version that's designed directly for Xbox Live. Um, but the fact that you can control the cursor and pinch to zoom with your smartphone on your big screen TV is phenomenal. It means I'm not going to get frustrated by having to use my controller to type stuff in like you have to do on the fucking PlayStation. Um, you can just, I mean, with my tablet, I can just bring up a keyboard, type in what I want, and go. It's, it's so nice. I mean, I'm probably not going to use it that much because my Xbox is right next to my PC, so if I want to look something up online, I just look it up online. I just turn, like, 90 degrees, and my computer's right there. But, I mean... In the future, um, me and my girlfriend have been talking about getting another 360 for the living room for streaming. For, I mean, we have a we have a Roku, but I'd rather get the Xbox because then I can just play games out there if I want to or something like that. 
um, and being able to just like it uh, I mean everybody's had that moment where you're like arguing with your friend about like what you know what uh, something is and you just can't look it up at the time because you got shitty internet or shitty connection or something like that or your computer's in the other room and you have to get up it just I mean if you think about it it just makes us lazier and lazier but <laughs> that's what Nike Plus is for <laughs> but um, the the fact that you could just pause your game bring up pause the game pause the movie pause whatever you're doing bring up the browser search something out and be like bam and I mean with Bing shirts I mean with the connect you don't even need to I mean uh, you don't even need to use a keyboard you can just say what you want to search you could say Google and it'll take you to Google and then search from there. I mean, that's that's so sweet. I don't know. I'm geeking out right now. Talk to me about two months. I'll be like, yeah, it was okay. But um, now Black Ops Two. Um, I was in a party. We were watching watching them play. You know, the standard Treyarch head playing it. You know, a five ten minute demo. And one of my buddies, after it's done, goes, "Well, that looks like fucking Crisis." I don't get why people have to compare games to other games. Why can't a game just be a game? It It's not Crisis. Yes, there was an x-ray scope, but it wasn't really an x-ray scope. It was, you could see their outline through the building, so you could see their thermal or whatever, what have you. You couldn't see through the damn thing. You could just see the outline of the person, their biometrics or whatever you want to call. I don't know why I blew myself up with C4 right there. But that that's the only thing I saw and the drones that really like really stood out to me as futuristic. The I mean the Raptor is a Raptor. Yes, it's a little more advanced, but it's still just an upgraded Raptor. Um I didn't really see anything I the gun he was using looked like an XM. It might have said on the screen what he was using, but honestly it looked like an XM. Um But you know, you never know. He did walk over a Type 95 with an ACOG, so the Type 95 will be returning. Um, probably yet again the FAMAS replacement. Um, I don't know. I'm I I am excited for it because Treyarch's really putting their all into it. I mean the HUD. Just look at the HUD. They look completely different, completely like streamlined. Like if you look at Black Ops right now, like if you look just on the screen at the HUD, it's all everything's solid. You know, all the th all everything on there is solid. Yes, there's some opacity. The like some of the stuff around the edges, but everything's solid. The HUD in the single player. Let's just say the single player, because of course it isn't multiplayer. But the HUD in the single player had like complete opacity to it. Um, like nothing was like here. I'm here. You know, but so I don't know. I, I'm excited. I'm gonna. Reserve judgment until I see the multiplayer, but Treyarch's really been doing good um, with their fans and with ha listening to the fans. So, um, anyways, it's been BOW Grigams. I hope you've enjoyed my rant, um, and um, yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks, guys.